Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we started understanding this YouTube application, how we can build it, what all components we need, what will be the data communication strategy, which component is going to send, what kind of props, how we are going to manage the state. Okay, in this video we are going to actually write the code. We will build all these component which is like search bar component and uh, video detail component, video list component and we will feed the data to these components okay so first of all what we will do is we have this app component which I just created and this is the state we are going to have in our application what the state is the list of videos we are going to show here and the selected video which we are going to show on the detail page okay now I have this app container and I have these three components we will build these component one by one search bar video detail and video list so we'll start with search bar first search bar component and we are going to write the same kind of a class signature okay i will remove all other unrequired things okay here we have a constructor and in the constructor this is search bar what it need you need a text field so you will be able to type something and send the data to the parent component right so we are going to have a term or search key whatever you wanted to name it this is our constructor now we can have a render function that render function will return just an input text field so here we can create a div we can put some class name also here it will be input type text field and on change of that we wanted to handle the values coming from the text field so it will be this dot state dot term and on change event on that will help us to capture the value from this text field this dot handle change okay so this dot handle change this is our text field now we need to take care of binding this operator and all so what we will do we will pass the event object from here and we will take care of that handle change event a so we will just capture what you are typing in the text field and update the status accordingly so we are getting value and here we can say this dot set state our term is whatever you have typed e dot target dot value simple now once you have the length of this particular field which is greater than 3 then we will be actually wanted to trigger a youtube api event what we are saying is so this we can actually do in the callback so this dot set state it has the callback also which you can trigger after the state update or here like once the state is updated and you wanted to get the latest state that then you can actually use this particular callback what this callback is doing is you can check what is the current state value currently here we are getting the term only right so we can use the term term dot value term dot length it is a string so if it is greater than three then we will be doing something what we are doing is we are going to call a parent component method handle change and we will be passing the term this dot state of term here also we can actually check the term but we are already sure that we actually captured the term so we can set we can pass this directly this is our handle change now this is search bar component i think this is what we are going to have in this component we can do export default search bar is our component we can simply say export default search bar so this is our first component which is having nothing but text field and whenever the character length is greater than 3 we are making a call to the parent component method handle change okay so we can actually add this handle change in the search bar okay so if we just talk about the root component here we will be getting this handle change method okay this also we can bind to this so here what we are going to get from the child component is a term so instead of binding it to this object we can directly 
call it so we are getting term here I will be accessing it I got the term so I will be using this YouTube search module to make an API call so how it works is you actually make an API call and you will get the data so I mean we are using the API key so this API key you need to pass and here with the help of that we will get the data so once you receive the data you have to set the state so here we have two things this dot set state we are setting two different properties in the state one is the videos videos whatever videos we are getting we can actually just assign it to the videos and we have a selected video also which will be the zeroth index of our videos okay so here what we said is whatever the data we are getting from the YouTube API for this particular search term we are going to uh, set the videos from that response and selected video here on the constructor also we can call and we can also have a component did mount initially also we wanted to actually uh, show some data to the user so we can actually call component did mount and from here we can call this method this dot uh, handle change that should be fine or we can actually create a, some particular method and here you can say react this is my term on the component did mount I wanted to trigger this component I wanted to trigger this method handle change by passing search term as a react so it will give me the data and I will be passing that data to this video detail component and video list component so video detail component I can just pass video it's a selected video right so I can get it using this dot state dot selected video and in the video list we are passing the list which is videos here also we can say this dot state dot videos clear so video detail component got the data video list component got the data now what we need we have everything what we need now we just need to create these two components more video detail and video list handle change we have done this is pretty much fine videos and let's check the spellings handle change yet okay now we can create a, a search bar component is done video detail component we can create so video detail component is going to be straightforward it is going to show the data only video detail dot js okay what we are going to have you can create a functional component or you can create a class based component but the objective of this component is just to show the data of selected video and it is doing nothing we are not having any action also from this so either you class you create a class based component video detail class video detail extends react dot component and write render function inside it inside render you can return jsx what we are going to print okay so we already have some kind of a jsx which we are going to print so this is the data and we will be getting this data from the props okay so in the render function what we are returning is this jsx we are returning and here we need to get this url snippet title and all these things so when we hit the YouTube APIs, we will come to know what kind of data we are getting in the props. Okay, so here we can write constructor. I mean, it, there is no need, but if you want to have some kind of a local state, then you can add. Then what we are doing is we are actually getting the video IDs and all from the props. So here const, we are getting the video. From this dot props right so here in app.js you can see we are passing the video as a props so I can access it using this dot props dot video right so this is how I can get the video in the video detail and then further I can actually extract the details from it components video detail it is search bar it is video list will be creating something like this okay video detail component we got the selected video now we can get the video id and all so we can build a url 
URL will be something like YouTube embedded and we need to get the video ID so we are getting both the things from the video object video ID is going to get video.id dot and here we created a URL the other details are in the video object video.snippet.title and description this is clear we don't need a constructor at all so this is fine right now for writing this do we need a class based component no right we can convert this into a functional component so it works like this here we can extend we don't need to extend anything and here this is what we are returning so all these calculations we are doing we don't need render function so we can just convert it very quickly we haven't done much okay we are getting video id now how we are getting it either you access the props or you can just pass the video directly because we are getting individual video and then this we can do from we, we are getting the everything from the video so i'm doing a destructuring here i got the url video id and every other things so functional component are helpful here right we are not doing much here now we can go to video list this is very simple uh, component we have created so video list is nothing but it will be having two items video list and video list item okay from here app.js you can see we are passing the videos this dot state dot videos so in the video list i will be receiving all these videos and i can create this as a functional component so i will copy this video detail component and i will convert it into a video list so it can be video list and what i'm getting from app.js you can see i'm accessing videos okay video list so i got videos in the props okay now i just need to iterate on to the items okay so what i'm returning is i'm just returning so there can be some class i will be adding here i will be just running a loop on videos so const video items sorry const video items here i will be running a loop on to the videos dot map so i will just passing i and index for uniqueness and here i will be rendering all the elements right and what i will be returning i will be creating one more child component for it it will be video list item okay and then video list items i will be rendering here this is how we write functional component video list item i need just need to pass the data here so key will be the unique index i am passing and the data so key and now individual video i have i will pass the i which is the individual video detail and on so now this data is enough right now we will be creating video list item and from video list item you already know that when user is clicking on to this list item then we are making that as selected so there will be a one event will be triggered from video list item list item dot js okay this component will be something same what we are doing here, here is from the video list item we are going to do a on click event okay so video list item is getting a particular video detail here we are passing the video so we can access it directly video list item we don't need to do that much destructuring i'm getting video directly from there i'm getting image okay i'm getting the image url which we are showing in the thumbnail and the title and now when you are clicking on to this list item we are actually making this own video select call right so this also i can capture here with the video with the destructuring concepts i don't need to write props at all i'm accessing both the properties using destructuring on video select and i'm passing the selected video here okay i'm passing the video object here so on video select i'm going to the video list here on video select equal to here in the on video select we have that uh, again we have to call it from the props so videos and on video select 
I'm again going to send this event to upper layer right on the app.js and I'm accessing two properties here in the video list videos and own video select so I'm sending it back to the parent component like this so it's interesting video list item you did a click on it so I'm sending this video object and own video select in the video list I got this event from the child component and sending it back to the parent component either you write props dot own video select because I have already done the destructuring so I'm sending it back to the parent component and in the parent component means it will go here in the app.js so in app.js own video select we are getting the selected video so own video select this is the event name and we are actually getting the selected video and we will call our local method which is you can say uh, handle change we are doing so ta -ta 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 -ta. this we have to call at least put this dot handle change so here this dot handle select on handle select same thing is fine and we are passing the video selected video and now we can define this method I mean we can write the code there itself but here we are getting the selected video on the top layer and here we can do this dot set state selected video will set selected video whatever the video object we receive then we are making that as a selected okay interesting this is how the component communication is happening and this is how we are actually passing the data, sending the event from video list item to video list to our parent component. So video list is rendering the child component, all the video list items. So here you can import all these. I just keep all these things, smaller, smaller things. Video list item. So we are rendering video list item. We are getting two props, videos and own video select. You can see from index.js, we are passing two things, own video select and videos. We can we can ignore these typos video okay on video select we are calling this and we are setting this state okay finally whenever the selected video is getting updated the new data is being passed to the video detail and it is just refreshing and showing the new data okay so this is typical our application look like now if we just run this then we will get the, the actual output how it is running so here you can see we are able to already running this so we have just hopes here we can add a scroller also and we can actually fetch the multiple results for a particular keyword we are typing okay here you can play these videos it is like we are opening that in the iframe so if you see our video detail component you can see there is an iframe and we are constructing the embedded YouTube URL by passing the video ID that we are getting in the YouTube v3 YouTube uh, data API call which we are making through this YouTube search module you need to pass the API key which you can easily get then we are passing the term selected videos we are setting it okay this is pretty much very simple very basic example of uh, uh, demo application now from uh, this video onwards we start talking about the functional component more because now you can actually declare the state everything you can do inside a functional component with the latest react updates okay so this is all about this video in the second video we will just debug the components how we can optimize it how we can restructure the code more okay thanks everyone